how are you today? Happy New Year! It is a new year and hopefully a better year for everyone. Um, yeah, I, today's my first day back to skip the dishes for the next month. Um, my room is now a sublimation room and I've been doing lots of um, designing, like learning how to make mugs and how to make, you know, uh, coasters and stuff like that. So that's what I've been doing um, over the last four days, I guess. My sister came to visit and helped me get this room set up. So that was fun. <laughs> We made bird suet. Yeah, that video will be coming up soon. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, how have you guys been? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's been crazy here. It's been... Let me grab my coffee. It, <gasps> there we go. Hi. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's been it's been a crazy couple of weeks. So, <clears throat> uh, in the next video, I'll be showing uh, footage of the move out of the shop, of the old shop. Ugh, that was fun. <laughs> there was a lot of emotions to go along with it. <clears throat> I didn't know how to feel. Uh, I was obvious. I was. I was happy to move, um, but, you know, nostalgia kind of crept in there a little bit, but, um, I would, yeah, I was really happy to get out of there. <clears throat> I went back and visited my friend Angela from Opposites Attract. She moved into my space and wow, what a cluster. Um, yeah, things kind of went downhill real fast. In the market and somebody else is moving out as well um, she's gonna be moving into one of the spaces where we are going into uh, I haven't been able to say anything I've known for a while but I haven't been able to say anything um, <clears throat> so yeah it's onward and upward and uh, yeah the Everything is a mess over there. I feel so bad for my friend. Um, I really wish that she could have gotten out of there as well. But I love the shop the way it looks. She put a wall up between her and Miles. And I got to say, it's it sure made the shop look different. Uh, it's it's a, a real... Um, yeah, I won't go into that. <laughs> Never mind. Delete, delete, delete. <laughs> uh, let's just say that I'm I'm glad I'm out. Um, I feel really bad for the new owners of um, the market. He really got a bad rap, you know. Like he walked into a hornet's nest. And he's trying to make the best of it. And it just seems like every which way um, he's getting slapped. You know, the the crap that went down when I was at, um, when the other people were running it. It's like a domino effect. And I really think that he figured that when he took over that that would stop. And it's continuing. The, the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <clears throat> um, I can't think of the word I'm looking for. <sighs> Minnow brain. Um, but anyway, the effect of what happened there is he's getting the fallout. That's the word I'm looking for. He's getting the fallout of what happened there. And that's not fair to him. Um, he's a good guy, but yeah yeah it's awful <laughs> it's 
So hopefully this year he can turn it around uh, <clears throat> and get some good vendors in there. Um, but not my circus, not my monkeys anymore. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to getting into the new shop. Um, I'm looking around at all the sublimation stuff I have in here and it excites me so much. Uh, like I said, I started designing stuff. I have not used my heat press yet. I got another new heat press uh, for smaller, smaller stuff. But, <clears throat> you know, my heat press is actually not that big, you know, but I wanted to get a handheld heat press as well so that I could do um, like smaller items like keychains and stuff like that. <clears throat> if I just wanted to do a couple at a time or one at a time or whatever. Um, yeah, so, and what else? Oh, I've got a whole bunch of stuff coming. I would have been able to start making stuff, but I didn't have any heat resistant tape which I thought I ordered, but I guess I didn't. And that stopped production in its tracks. <clears throat> Just that. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I've got all of my stuff waiting. So in the meantime, I've been designing and printing out my stuff. <clears throat> so um, I'm hoping... <laughs> That, that tape's going to come. It says it's going to be here soon, I think. I think. Uh, but yeah, because I really want to get going on this. Oh, and then I found out that the um, mug presses that I've got here are not for tumblers. You know, travel mugs, big travel mugs. Yeah, so... <clears throat> I... <laughs> Um, they're for all different sizes of mugs, but not tumblers. So I had to buy a convection oven. That's on its way. Uh, and some shrink, um, they're, they're shrink sleeves. <clears throat> so you put, you take your, your tumbler and you put your print on it, like your, um, design on it, tape it up, put it in a shrink wrap sleeve, put it, um, you can use a, a heat gun to tighten it all up and then you could put it in your convection oven. So it's kind of like a heat press without the press. <clears throat> the sleeve is what's actually compressing it all together. So I'm really hoping that that's going to work out good. I actually, it's, it's kind of weird. It, I like, it's, I handed it up or something because I really wanted to try the convection oven thing, but I wasn't willing to pay two or $300 for the sublimation convection oven. And then I found out you can use any convection oven. So I thought, okay. So I ordered one on Amazon. Um, <clears throat> Hopefully that will be here in a few days, but it doesn't matter until the heat resistant tape comes. I called Michael's, found out that they have heat resistant tape, but they don't have any. <laughs> I'm like, of course. So it's one of those hurry up and wait things. So my plan is I'm going to do skip the dishes like oh, this week. Uh, I have half shifts. I've got four hour shifts. I've got one full shift. Um, so I'm going to do my half shifts and then I'm going to come home and keep designing <clears throat> and printing out my designs and getting it ready. So by the time my stuff actually shows up, I'm going to have a crap ton of designs that I'm going to have to, um, uh, get finished. So that's good. I'll have something to do. I'm actually finding that the design process isn't quite as hard as I thought it was going to be, but there are some things that I'm a little frustrated with. But that's okay. I'm going to figure it out. 
uh, I can't wait to get something actually pressed and finished for so I can show you guys. Um, I will have the camera set up so that you can see what I'm doing uh, if you're interested. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, I did design a new Yarnaby print. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to put that on a tumbler and I'm going to put it on, uh, if I can, I might be able to put it on coasters, but I'm not sure because it's a pretty big print. Um, I'll have to figure that out. If I can put it on coasters, it would be easy enough to mail out. So, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, enough of that because I know that this is a crochet channel. I haven't touched my crochet at all. Um, I've been solely focusing on getting this stuff done because I got to get it ready for the shop. Um, I have like four projects that are that kind of like as soon as I closed up the, the shop and Christmas happened, those stopped, right? I didn't feel the pressure anymore uh, that I had to get these things done. I didn't get them done. And it was like, okay, well, it is what it is. Um, and so I stopped, just stopped. And I got to tell you, I feel so much better so much better my stress level is way down although I was still reeling from it uh over Christmas and George and I were at each other's throats it was just it was awful so we sat down and we talked it out and we went okay you know what we gotta let this stuff go we cannot let this affect our relationship and it's done it's done. That crap over there is done. Uh, we got got out and now we need to just regroup and relax. <clears throat> it just seems like we've gone from, you know, pack up the shop, close the shop, come home, get this sublimation stuff ready, get me back to work for skip the dishes and then boom in the sh in the new shop. It's like just boom, 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 boom. And there's no downtime. None. Zero. Zip. So um, we have to just work through it and make it make it work. Um, and, you know, it's like. I don't know. We were, we were just venting and stuff and I, I we just needed to say, look, we got we cannot take this out on each other. You know, um my my <laughs> I can laugh about it now, but let me tell you. Um my corner, I had a L-shaped desk in the shop. <clears throat> and that thing has been my nemesis since I opened my shop before. Um, why I thought a corner desk was a good idea, I don't know. More space, uh, I don't know. But let me tell you, when we got it home, we didn't take it apart because it's a bitch to get back together. And so I thought, okay, we'll try this. We got it to the house. Trying to get it in the house was stupid. It was stupid. Because of the way our house is built, we have turns in our house, in our hallway, and we can't get anything in and out of this house properly. The doorways are not the sizes that we need. Um, so to say the least, we've taken chunks out of the wall uh, and we, it, oh, yeah, we decided, okay, you know what, we just have to take like after an hour of trying to fight to get it through this hallway, um, we th said, okay, we're just going to take out a few screws and get the two pieces apart so we can get it in here. We got the thing apart. I picked up one piece to bring it in and the, that piece had another piece attached to it. 
I went to bring it in and the whole thing buckled and broke apart. This stuff was particle board and it just, wow, let me tell you. The thing broke in half and I lost my, <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> to say the least, <laughs> George grabbed it and threw it out on the back deck. It was like, that's it. It's done. And we, that was the day, the day we moved the last part of the stuff out of the shop. We were done. We were just, we were fit to be tied. Let me tell you. Um, George threw it out there. I stood here and just cried and he went and made us a drink. Uh, I had a hot bath and relaxed and just let it go. It's like, that was 200 and some odd dollars gone. Okay. Like, let it go. Just let it go. Don't even think about it. <laughs> it's like the thing is out of my life now. <laughs> and we don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. It was, um, <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> oh, I thought we were going to kill each other. I swear to God. <laughs> But we're okay now. We're okay. Everything's good. <laughs> so anyway. Um, yeah. So that's what's been happening. Oh, I, you know, I, I went on Facebook Marketplace and I found something that I am so excited about. Oh, let's see if I can bring her over here. Ah. Here's my, here's a new mannequin. Oh, she's got a metal, she's got a metal base. But you see, she's got a lacy bodice. So, oh, I paid like 40 bucks for her. Oh, bring it back here. Oh. So, my plan is... This is a dress mannequin, and the lady that had her before used to dress her up for all the occasions, Christmas and everything else. She would take the ba the bottom, excuse me, the bottom and make it into a Christmas tree skirt, you know, stuff like that, and Halloween. And the... so what I want to do is I want to get black feather boas and... um Put them on a ring, which I I think I'm just going to use wire. Put it around her waist so that it kind of comes out. And then I'm going to make the bodice part, if it works, we'll see. I want to paint it ro um, dusty rose. And I'm going to order these Halloween wings. They're black. They're a fair size and it's got straps to go around here and I'm going to attach it to her and I'm going to put a choker, a black um, decorative choker on her and she is going to be my Raven Queen uh, and I'm going to put her in, I've got three, three windows on the front of the bill of my new shop. She's going to go in the middle. And she's going to be my um, showcase. So that's going to be <clears throat> be cool. And then maybe I'll have my spirit raven um, on the top of the window or something. So, <clears throat> yeah. So there's lots I'm, I'm thinking about. Um, I'm going to have a lighted curtain. Uh, on the back where like there's where the big window is there's a platform where you could put all your mannequins and stuff so I'm gonna have a curtain that goes there like a sheer curtain with lights that come down <clears throat> that's gonna be my backdrop for my mannequins so yeah I've been thinking a lot and I'm just I'm so excited 
it's going to be great. It's going to be great. I, I have a good feeling. I have a good, good, good feeling about this. Um, I'm so glad that you guys are coming with me for on this journey. Uh, you know, any suggestions would be wonderful. <clears throat> when, um, the end of the month comes or close to the end of the month, hopefully once they get the walls built and everything, I'm hoping to be able to get in there and show you guys what it looks like before I move in. So then you can have a more of a visual of what I'm talking about. <clears throat> um, I do have a couple of pictures of the front of the, here, I'll move over here <laughs> and I'll put them here. I got some pictures of what the front looks like now. Uh, and that's going to change. I'm going to put, is it annuals or perennials th that go all year round? I'm going to plant stuff in the front. There's a, like a little thing on the front of the bill of the windows that you can put plants in there right now. There's vines and, uh, yeah, so <clears throat> I'm, I've got another window on the other side that I don't know what I'm going to do with yet, but I will figure it out. I'm sure a mannequin's going to go in there because that's the side that all my yarn's going to be on. There's going to be yarn on one side of the shop and then there's going to be all my other sublimation stuff and all my clothing and all that kind of stuff on the other side. So I'm going to have, you're crooked. That's even worse, but whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to have a mannequin on one side with my crochet stuff on it. And on the other side, I'm going to have um, mannequins with some of the clothes, the t-shirts I make and all that. So there you have it. Uh, what else? <clears throat> Oh, I'm sure there's lots of stuff I need. I wanted to talk to you guys about, but you know what? I'm, my brain is in so many different directions, and uh, I just can't think. Can't think. Um. Mm hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go. I love you all, and uh, I'll have the other video up in a couple of days. So. I will talk to you guys later. Okay. I love you all. Okay. Bye.